Hi, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be recording another Let's Play episode. This is episode 25 now. Last episode, I went on a journey, but I could have shown it all because some of it crashed at the end. So, let's get into it. So I'm over here, I have my horse, I tamed it, I also got a ton of grass using the silk touch shovel, I also went that way, you can see the cobblestone, and also that way. And I'm not gonna take this horse home today, because I will come back here, and it's really far away, so I put it near the nether fortress I recently explored, so let's show you. So here I am, and also I have a chest over here with so much quartz, so much grass, but I'm going to take all this with me now home. I also brought some fire, a fire resistance potion and some golden apples, and they're enchanted golden apples, a few leaves, and also just got a little bit of a nether rack. And I use the silk touch to mine the quartz because it, it would take up inventory space if I used the fortune pickaxe. Now, I'm not going to be taking the grass block home. That will be the next time when I come here. And I will come here off camera. And I have a little bit of a tour to show you what I've been working on off camera that I haven't shown you in a long time. Now, I'll show you that when I get home. So, how was the journey? Well, some of this, it was pretty fun. I went super far away. I, I traveled day and day and night. I stayed there for like five days in reality. For like five days over that, uh, there. So, now I want to go, go back home and see if everything's alright. Because if you have, five days is almost a week. And you would probably expect something would have happened if you were gone. So... I also mined some quartz over here. I did a, a little a bit of an exploring in the nether just to find some quartz. So, and I will put these quartz away when I go home. Because I just got so much quartz. So, I'll meet you guys when I go home. Now, I also been collecting red mushrooms because I knew I had a ton of wood. So, in case if I run out of food, so I can make some mushroom stew. And I am almost out of food. Now, I have my difficulty right now on peaceful, so I don't get attacked by any gas. But, we're, but I'm going to go home and then... I'm also going to sort through all the items that I have, and the nether is a great place to get m mushrooms, the small mushrooms. You, to make mushrooms do, you only need red mushrooms and brown with, with some bowls, and my game just crashed. And guys, one thing really annoying is that in this update, that... Um, okay, where am I? Guys, one thing really uh, annoying in this update is that um, you, uh, in 0.15.10, you always get that notification saying that be sure to use the Minecon skin texture pack. Well, I just ignore it, and it's not that loud, uh, some, in my opinion. So... Also, I, when I came back here in my journey and gathered a little bit of an XP, well, I died over there. I didn't die, well, I just gathered a few levels, but I used it for something. Mm. Because if I died, then I would have been uh, over there. 
and I can't believe I went so far making the portal. And, and this nether fortress will get more renovation in the future. I will work on the nether express train station. But for now, I just like it the way it is. And also, I'm planning on bringing some ice when I go to the nether. And I will explain you. Because if you break ice in the nether without a silk touch, it will actually flood water in the nether, which you can use it for a way to get water in the nether, which you can't do in regularly without using an inventory editor. And also, if you get water in the nether, you can turn lava into um, obsidian. Ooh, that was a good way that I didn't take fall damage. Well guys, one thing is that I've been working also a little bit on the laboratory before this journey, and the, and I finally completed the laboratory, so also today I'm going to be giving a tour of it, and let's see how much time I have left. I have plenty of time left, so I can still record this episode, and by the time of next episode, we will be starting a new project. So I'm almost there, and I will be doing more stuff in the nether in, in a few episodes, and maybe we can start a new project next episode, and after, I have lots of plans in this world. You guys just give me too much, a lot of suggestions. Now on Twitter, someone sent me a suggestion. Now the suggestion was that I should put water in the blaze farm, and I did by using packed ice and breaking it. You don't need to have packed ice; it could just be regular ice. But packed ice is a little bit easier to get. So I'm here back at my Nether portal, and we should be home. So first of all, I'm going to show you the laboratory and what I did inside of it now. You guys remember the laboratory, it actually used to be a factory where I planned a few things, what should, what should I build. But actually, then it was turned into the laboratory. And before, it, it was built in episode 10, the piston mechanism, but you guys weren't able to see it because it crashed and it couldn't undo what has been done, and I also made a spooky theme outside with cobweb, and also a very old, dark, a very old oak tree like that is dying, and it's like a swampy tree, we still got the piston mechanism, flip it, and I also added a railway, you guys remember this, which removed the block, and also this, if you guys haven't seen this, over here, there is an underground storage area where I don't see an entrance. Flip this lever, it's hidden. And you can actually go inside of it, and there's a storage room. Now, you can't get back up that way. So the only way you can get back up is using this staircase, going through this hallway, using this, and you can go back and then close it here. So, it's pretty cool. Well point is that I used spruce wood and emerald blocks just so mm, it also fits the theme of a laboratory and also fits the theme of a spooky area and also I did some renovations over here put some golden apples and a ton of wheat